please welcome to the stage Dr. Sanaz Masuni. Good morning. Good morning. Loud. <laughs> welcome to the 10th annual World Patient Safety Science and Technology Summit. I'm Sanaz Masumi, the Chief Operating Officer at the Patient Safety Movement Foundation. Well, I chose the field of healthcare and specifically patient safety several years back because I knew that other high reliability industries have mastered the science of safety and yet in healthcare we still struggle with some basic concepts such as hand hygiene. I wondered, why do wrong side surgeries still happen? How is it that people still die in childbirth? How is it even possible that we know exactly what sepsis is and yet we cannot put together proper protocols to prevent people from dying from sept septic shock? We make the best medications on earth and yet we cannot ensure safe medication administration or to prevent medication errors altogether. Pain medications were supposed to relieve pain and yet they managed to bring enormous pain and suffering to families who've lost loved ones to prescribed pain medications. All in all, I wondered, how is it that we are not keeping these large systems of systems relevant to all the other scientific advances that um, humans have made in the past 50 years. Well, it took some time and some gray hair, but I learned. I learned that unless we put safety measures embedded in the design of healthcare systems, we're gonna to continue to suffer. Patients are going to continue to suffer but so as healthcare professionals and clinicians who end up with a coded patient when they know better than anyone else that that person could have lived a much longer life. At some point in our lives, we all will be patients regardless of our age, uh, ethnicity, uh, race, where we live, our socioeconomic status, our educational background. The deeper pain however, comes from the point that we have the means to fix this. We know how to fix this, and yet we haven't. We know how to get to zero. First, do no harm. To make that happen, we need to implement and follow guidelines that are evidence-based with a proven track record for eliminating patient harm. The science of safety exists the science of getting to zero and preventing patient harm exists. We need to operationalize the incorporation of these evidence-based practices into the daily routine and processes that our healthcare workers use every day. Also, we are in the era of data mining, so transparency in healthcare is a must. If you want to make informed decisions, whether you're a clinician, a patient, industry leader, policymaker, we need access to clean and reliable data. Comparing patient outcomes is sometimes the best motivator for change. Quality matters. We all pay for the quality um, in our day-to-day -day life. And then I wonder, how is it that when it gets to our healthcare, we accept to pay for the quantity? We need to allow our clinical people our clinicians, our healthcare workers, to focus on the quality of the care they provide and not merely the sheer volume of cases after cases after cases. We have to encourage healthcare systems to pay for performance. Receiving care based on gold standard of care in a transparent system where quality and safety are the highest priorities is a human right I deeply believe that reaching zero harm is possible. Together, and in our shared values for creating an ecosystem of healthy healthcare systems, we can create powerful alliances, collaborations with lasting impact to save lives. Every panel discussion and a speaker yesterday indicated that there is light at the end of this tunnel. And I'm sure tragic patient stories we heard um, changed all of us forever. As you continue with the program today, I hope you enjoy the rest of the sessions 
and I hope you were able to take back to your home organizations some lessons to strategically plan for zero and develop and execute solutions. Let our commitment to safe care and zero patient harm be our compass. The world is moving forward. Everything needs to explain itself relevant to the future. Past is the knowledge we gained, unfortunately, from thousands lives lost, patients harmed, clinicians and healthcare workers being disappointed in the systems. Future is transparency in healthcare data and payers paying for the quality of care. Present is the time to incorporate actionable evidence-based practices in our healthcare systems to reach zero patient harm. Now is the time to commit to zero. I thank you for your dedication to patient safety.